Hello friends, welcome back to another video here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. And in today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to unlock the Move Tutor and get unlimited Move Tutoring for the rest of your time in Pokemon's Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. The Move Tutor is a great facility they've got access to in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. For those of you that have Pokemon in your general casual playthrough and they have moves that they previously learned that they no longer have, or for those of you that have Pokemon that you want to play in the competitive scene, whether you need them to have a, a previously learned move, but they no longer have it. And the only way to access that move is to either rebreed the Pokemon, recatch the Pokemon, or take them to the move tutor and then pay them a hard skill, a handsome hard skill, uh, for their services. And they will reteach re uh, essentially one of those moves that they could learn previously to that Pokemon. The kicker is obviously, like I've already mentioned, the hard skill is the item that it will cost you to do this every time you want to learn one move onto a Pokemon. So it's a pretty hefty price, especially with considering that hard skills are a pretty rare item to find in the games. Now there are a few methods to finding hard skills out and about around the Sinnoh region. You can find them, they are dotted around the Sinnoh region, just items ready to pick up on different routes and hidden items as well that you maybe can't see but then can find. But it's not really a reliable method to go down and for this method in this video to unlocking the move tutor for those unlimited uses of it going forward, you're gonna need at least 10 of these hard skills to do that and um, finding these items just lying around in the Sinnoh region might take a long time to do and there are probably better methods to do in this. So if you've left your salvaging the hard skills in routes in other areas around the Sinnoh region, the next method that we're going to talk about is fishing for love discs. Now I'm not the biggest fan of this method, I personally spent about 45 minutes doing this method, trying to thief hard skills off love discs with absolutely no results at all. Uh, there are two routes where you can fish for love discs, you're going to need the super rod which is accessible after you beat the Elite Four when you travel to the fight area, there will be an NPC and um, near one of the the root entrances and you can speak to him and he'll give you the super rod you can take this to the pokemon league there'll be a stretch of water just outside the the building there uh, you can fish there or you can fish on route 224 where you'll be able to have that big old five percent chance of hooking a love disc and then having the chance to use a Pokemon like with Thief or something like that that can try and steal the item before uh, you faint it and then keep your fingers crossed and hope that it has a heart skill. Now, like I said, I did this a lot in the original Diamond and Pearl games and I had not too bad success rate then, but it was a stupidly long grind and I've had no success with it in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So whether or not the odds have changed with it just being a held item on Love Disc or whether I just extremely unlucky Either way, I'm just telling you my findings and this method is not something I, I think you should go down unless you've got a lot of time to waste and you really like Love Disc. I love Love Disc. If you've ever been to our Nuzlocke streams, you'll know how much I love Love Disc, but for this method, it is just something you want to leave alone personally. So that takes us on to the next method and the last method of being able to obtain hard skills and that is going to be down in the ground, underground, and that is going to be mining. So you, whenever you mine, you're going to have the chance of obtaining a hard skill, finding one in the walls. And it's not a bad method, to be honest. I've been down there and done big stretches of mining for a few hours at a time. And I've managed to collect up 17 hard skills, which is more than enough for this method. So I would say generally mining in the Grand Underground, it's not a guaranteed way every time you do it. But if you're down there long enough and you do mine enough down there, you're going to find enough of these hard skills to do this method. Okay, hopping into game, uh, I'll show you exactly where we are. We're in Pastoria City. This is down towards the southern kind of uh, east direction of the map. So you can see us down here and uh, this is where our starting point is. Obviously, before you come here, you probably want to get those hard skills. I mean, you can do it as a one-off and just keep a tally as you go. But if you want to do it all in one go like we're doing in this guide here today then you want to have at least 10 hard skills to do this method we've got 17 as you can see in our box and you just want to make your way down from the pokemon center behind this house here and then down towards the lake area here this house here with the man standing out 
the front and you want to just go inside and there should be an NPC towards the top right hand corner and this is your man so when you speak to him he will say oh that's a that's an honest to goodness heart scale let me guess you want to teach one of your Pokemon a move which Pokemon needs tutoring he'll ask so we'll use Heatran for this example here and um, we can go through the entire list of what Heatran can learn obviously if they are maxed out at level 100 they'll have access to their whole move move um, move pool and we'll just teach lava plume here but I mean for this example really what we're doing here is just kind of doing this to do it 10 times so we can unlock it forever so we're just doing this for the examples of the video uh, we're not really taking this too seriously so again we want to just go into the move tutor and just do this over and over again you can kind of select one move and then the other and just keep overwriting the same ones if you want once you've done this 10 times you're going to have access to this unlimited um so you're not going to need or require any more hard skills to do this so we'll carry on doing this back and forth 10 times and then we'll be back with that after we've done the 10th one and we'll be uh we'll show you what happens after that okay this is our final one that we have to do and then we will unlock the move tutor for the remaining time that we have left in this game for however long we want to play it which is good like i say it's a bit of a quality life update it's just that initial grinding of getting those 10 hard skills that just is the problem here. Um, and now when you've done that last one, he says, To show my gratitude, I'll start teaching moves to your Pokemon for free. No hard skills required. So after that 10th one, do you want me to teach your Pokemon a move? Yes, we do. We'll teach Heatran another move just to say we want something like, yeah, let's get Lava Plume Black back on it but uh, whereas before if you'd made a mistake and then you want to come back to getting that move back and you maybe saved over it you'd have to go out and find a hard scale whereas now if you've done this method you've unlocked him for the like I say the entirety of the time you're playing this game so it is a very helpful kind of little tip bit especially if you're building competitive teams or if you're just wanting to improve your party and things like that he is located down in Pastoria City but you will need to find those hard skills first to be able to unlock a minute it just takes 10 and um, but like i say just doing the the best method i would suggest is going down to the underground doing a few stretches hopefully get that 10 and then come up do it unlock them and then you've got the access to the move tutor for the rest of the time you're in brilliant diamond and Shannon pearl so thank you so much for tuning into today's video i hope you found this little guide useful and i hope you do have some application for it in future in your games obviously the move tutor as i've already mentioned is a bit of a pain when you have to collect a hard skill to just reteach that one move every time whereas if you've done it 10 times it's better just to go out collect 10 hard skills come to them grind through and then unlock it for the rest of the time that you'll be playing the games at least that's how i look at it anyway so hopefully it has been helpful for you friends if it has if you've enjoyed the video please consider dropping a like on it do subscribe to the channel if you want to see more pokemon content in particular brilliant diamond chain and pearl content and i will see you all for another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye